Good day, grade 8 learners. In this video lesson, we're going to talk about ATOM. With the most essential learning competency, determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. With the following specific objectives, at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to first, describe the basic parts of an atom. Second, you have to analyze the relationship of the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom. And last, you have to make a diagram of an atom with correct number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in their proper location. But before we proceed, let's have first a recall of what you have learned in the previous video lesson. You learned that matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are the smallest particle of matter. And two or more atoms combined forms molecules. Solids, liquid, and gases varies in terms of the arrangement and motion of particles. And phase change is the change from one state of matter to another. Now, to check your understanding of our previous lesson, you can start answering activity number one entitled Building Blocks. You have to complete the table by providing appropriate answers. The first row was given as an example. Don't forget to fill in the blank with the right phase change being described, a sample of material, and an illustration of the molecular arrangement before and after the change. For activity number two entitled, Put Me Into Place, as guided by the song Ang Atom, locate the proper position in an atom of the underlined subatomic particles by writing its name in proper box as you sing the song to the tune of My Police. Try to sing with me. My proton, my neutron, ang nucleus sa loob ng atom. My proton, my neutron, ang nucleus sa loob ng atom. My electron, my electron, my electron, my electron, my electron, sa labas ng nucleus, sa loob ng atom. Very good. You learned that matter is made up of atoms which are too small to see with the unaided eye or even with the use of ordinary light microscope. When the idea of atom was conceived by the ancient Greek philosophers, they thought that atom is indivisible, that it has no parts. Scientists, however, have proven that the atom is composed of even smaller particles. From experiments conducted in the latter part of the 19th century to the early half of the 20th century, Scientists collected evidence that atoms are composed of three types of particles, namely protons, electrons, and neutrons, collectively referred to as the subatomic particles. Here are some facts about atoms. Atoms of which all objects are made are electrically neutral, but they carry electrically charged particles. The proton carries a positive charge. The electron carries a negative charge. The neutron, on the other hand, does not carry any charge or is neutral. Subatomic particles have different masses. The massive part of the atom come from the masses of protons and neutrons collectively called nucleons. Nucleons tightly packed together forms the nucleus. Electrons are extremely lightweight and exist in a cloud orbiting the nucleus. These are very much lighter than the protons and neutrons to the point that its mass does not significantly contribute to the mass of the entire atom. In effect, the mass of the electron is negligible. 
Now let's have a brief history of the discovery of the subatomic particles. Joseph John Thomson, also known as J.J. Thomson, discovered electron. He discovered the electron by experimenting cathode ray tube. He demonstrated that cathode rays were negatively charged. And with that, he proposed a model of atom which he called the plum pudding model. And the electrons, which is the negatively charged particles, is embedded in the sphere of positive charge. The negative electrons represented the raisins in the pudding, and the dough contained the positive charge. Next is Ernest Rutherford, who is credited with the discovery of proton. They performed the alpha particle scattering experiment. And with his team, he proposed another model of atom called the nuclear model. Rutherford and his co-workers expected all of the alpha particles to travel undeflected through the atoms of gold. However, they observed that most of the alpha particles did go through the gold foil undeflected. But what surprised them was that there were a few alpha particles that practically bounced back towards the source and some that were deflected at smaller angles. Rutherford showed that most of the mass of the atom lies concentrated at its center and its nucleus. He postulated that the atom resembles a miniature of the solar system with light negatively charged electron orbiting the dense positively charged nucleus just as the planet orbit the sun and last is james chadwick who discovered neutron he bombarded a thin sheet of beryllium by alpha particles and found that electrically neutral particles with a mass slightly greater than that of protons were being emitted. Now you can start answering activity number two entitled, Fill Me In. Using the terms at the right, identify each of the parts in the box. You may refer to the legend in the periodic table of elements found at the end of this activity sheet. As guide, H -E is the symbol for helium. 2 is the atomic number. And 4 is the atomic mass. The next activity is entitled Compare Me. You have to analyze the table and answer the guide questions briefly. You may use the periodic table of elements attached in your learning activity sheet. Here are the guide questions. For part B, Using the mathematical symbols and the terms in the box, complete the equations below showing the relationship of the numbers in the table. Do you ever wonder why one element differs from another element? The answer is based on the number of protons in their nuclei. Different atoms have different number of protons. The number of protons determines an element's identity. Here are the things that you must remember. Atomic number is equal to the number of protons. Atomic number distinguishes one element from others. Number of protons is equal to the number of electrons in a neutral atom. To compute for the charge, you simply have to subtract the number of protons and the number of electrons. If the number of proton is more than the number of electron, then the charge is positive. However, if the number of proton is less than the number of electron, then the charge is negative. Now, there are atoms belonging to the same element 
with the same protons but different number of neutrons. They are called the isotopes. And the shorthand notation for isotope includes the element symbol and mass number. The mass number distinguishes an isotope of a particular element to its other isotopes. To compute for the mass number, you simply have to add number of protons and the number of neutrons. Now with that, you are now ready to answer the next activity entitled, Call My Number. You simply have to complete the table by writing the missing number. Don't forget that the subscript is for the atomic number while the superscript is for the mass number. You also have to complete the diagram of an atom of the element helium. You have to use the following legend to indicate the correct numbers of protons, electrons, and neutrons in their proper locations. By the way, here are some corrections. Instead of 14, it must be 19. And instead of 20, it must be 21. Here is the rubric for scoring. Now, to sum things up, Atoms are composed of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Atoms have nuclei that contains protons and neutrons. Electrons move in the space around the nucleus. An element may be known by its atomic number or the number of protons. The mass number represents the number of protons and neutrons of an atom. And atoms of the same element that differ in mass numbers are known as isotopes. 